Addressing diversity, equity, and inclusion issues is so important to the nation's workforce. And that's how 88% of workers responded at a Boston College study right here in Northeast Ohio. An organization is helping businesses attain that goal. And this week's Mission Possible, we look at how the Greater Cleveland Partnership is strengthening our community. A vibrant region requires a strong workforce in which employees know they belong and companies realize they can thrive. That's why the Greater Cleveland Partnership provides an equity and inclusion assessment every year. We want our workforce to reflect what our community looks like. In addition to that, when companies and key individuals are looking to relocate, they're asking those questions. The assessment helps close gaps by exposing them. Odie, a manufacturer of high quality plumbing products, took its first assessment a few years ago. And really what we're trying to do here is to foster an inclusive environment that really embraces diversity. And we really want to be able to show our associates that we acknowledge value and really are utilizing their diverse perspective. Patrice Blakemore says many companies avoid taking the assessment for fear of not doing well. Odie didn't do well the first year. I wouldn't say we were really surprised by that, but what it did do was, I guess it reinforced the fact that we had a lot of opportunity for improvement. One of those changes was in terms of diversifying their suppliers. And so that has been one effort that they have been addressing and have been successful at. From an Odie perspective, it allows us really to expand our supplier base and to start working with companies that are actually maybe more um, flexible and innovative than some of others that, that we work with. Not only is it a way for companies to measure progress, but they can also work together through workshops, discovering how to solve problems. Companies that are more diverse are more profitable. They have higher revenue, they're more profitable because they have different perspectives. The Greater Cleveland Partnership has 20 years of equity and inclusion data. But last year, only a small percentage of Northeast Ohio employers took the survey. More participation means more data and an insight into achieving goals sooner. It gives you an assessment of where you currently stand. And then finally, it is um, a tool that you can use just to measure your progress. If the goal is to have a workforce reflect our community, there is still a long way to go. We want to be able to use this data to move our region forward. That includes scaling our minority businesses, increasing our mid-level and senior level positions with diverse leaders. And companies can take the assessment up until mid-June of this year. And you'll find out all the information on our website at WKYC.com. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I always say this, but I'm going to say it once more. Representation matters. Yes. Diversity matters. You know, identifying someone that looks like you that is in, like, your cube buddy or, you know, in, in your vicinity. It's so important. Mm -hmm. Diversity is so important, no matter what that looks like. People from all walks of life coming together for one common denominator. What is, what is the goal? The goal is to get the job done. So yeah. it's so important. Yeah, and it's great that workplaces are taking this seriously, right? Yes. It shouldn't be an afterthought. It shouldn't be a bonus of a workplace. It shouldn't be, you know, just, a, just an added benefit. It should be at the core of the mission. And yeah. it's wonderful to see that, you know, places are really taking a concerted effort to make this a really essential part of yes. hiring and you know career building and our climate here in Northeast Ohio. I think it's wonderful. Yeah, we always talk about what matters most and I feel like in today's climate, it really matters. Yeah, that it does, absolutely.